archaeology has shown that the ancient Israelite custom of burying the dead was to place the deceased in the ground. However, if that family was wealthy, they would use caves, usually natural ones, but sometimes ones cut into the rock as a tomb for the dead body and used by the family for many generations. Many of these caves included ornate entrances and multiple chambers. They also included ledges cut into the walls for placing the body. When the ledge was needed for another body, the bones of the previous occupant were removed from the ledge and placed in another chamber of the cave or neatly piled on the floor. The first mention of such a tomb is found in the book of Genesis. And he gave me the cave of Machpelah, which belonged to him at the end of his field, for a full price of silver for the ownership of a tomb. Abraham purchases this tomb to bury his wife Sarah. And later, Abraham was buried in it by his sons, Isaac and Ishmael. Before Abraham's grandson Jacob dies, he says to his children, I will be gathered with my people. Bury me with my fathers in the cave that is in the field of Machpelah. There they buried Abraham and with him Sarah. There they buried Isaac and with him Rebekah. And there I buried Leah. The traditional location of this tomb is located in Hebron, Israel, and is called the Cave of the Patriarchs. In 30 BC, Herod the Great built a large rectangular enclosure over the cave. Rabbi Benjamin of Tudela visited the tomb site in 1163 and stated there was a sequence of three caves the first two of which were empty. In the third cave were six tombs, arranged to be opposite to one another. Another famous tomb mentioned in the Bible is that of King David and his descendants. And David slept with his fathers and was buried in the city of David. And Solomon slept with his fathers and was buried in the city of David his father. And Rehoboam slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David. And Abiyam slept with his fathers and they buried him in the city of David. And Asa slept with his fathers, and was buried with his fathers in the city of David, his father. And Jehoshaphat slept with his fathers, and was buried with his fathers in the city of David, his father. The traditional site of David's tomb is located on Mount Zion in Jerusalem. The practice of burying family members in one tomb continued into the New Testament period. However, one additional practice was observed during this time, the second burial. One year after the death of an individual, the family returned to the tomb and took the bones of the deceased and placed them in a stone ossuary. Many of these ossuaries were decorated with symbols and the name of the deceased. In 1980, a family tomb was discovered in Jerusalem and has been a major controversy as the names on the ossuaries include Yosa, a form of Joseph, Maria, a form of Mary, Yeshua, Jesus, son of Yehosef, another form of Joseph, Matiya, a form of Matthew, and Yehuda, that's Judah, son of Yeshua. Another controversial ossuary is the James ossuary, 
which includes the inscription Yaakov bar Yosef de Yeshua, or James, son of Joseph, brother of Jesus.